First, we're in the middle of summer. It's the heart of baseball season. And do we have a baseball story for you? Pow! Sound like bacon in a frying pan. In Major League Baseball, there are pitchers. There was no other sound like. And then there's Nolan Ryan. Without a doubt, he is the most intimidating pitcher in the history of the game. Nicknamed the Ryan Express, he was renowned and feared for his overwhelming speed. He could throw the ball harder than anybody. His career highlights and impressive pitching skills are the focus of a new documentary called Facing Nolan. I don't remember facing anybody like him. But who would be up for the challenge of portraying one of the best pitchers in MLB history? Well, turns out, a kid from Maine. His name is Justin Courtney. So we've got some of his baseballs from over the years. We've got a ball, a game ball from uh, when he played in the Senior League World Series here in Bangor, where he pitched against Canada and picked up a win. Courtney, who is 25, started pitching as a boy, playing for Bangor's Little League, Junior League. Number eight, the shortstop, Justin Courtney. Here you go, Justin. And American Legion, before pitching for Bangor High School. where he and his team were Class A state champions in 2014. That love of baseball all started in the backyard. Yeah, we were looking for something to do in the summertime and we were just playing like with a big wiffle ball bat, one of those ones that you have for a little toddler. I mean, it was probably the bat was bigger than him and it was a big fat bat and I would toss the ball under underhand to him and. He would whack it and just, he would love to run to chase the ball he just hit. You know, that was his big thing. As he grew, Justin would excel on the soccer field and the ice rink as well. His parents say the focus was more on becoming well-rounded, not a professional athlete. If you have three boys playing three different sports, it was a tag team who's taking who where. So we were never like hyper-focused thinking Justin was going to play baseball. We were, let's get them all to where they need to be and... That was that. Yeah. We didn't really do a ton of travel ball or travel yeah. things with him. It was really just kind of staying local and being with his friends and, and having fun. That was the, the main focus. And then as he got into little league ages, you know, the 12, 13, 14, it got a little more competitive and, and stuff. But it always, fun was always the focus. And it was never the end goal to play professional baseball. It just kind of worked out. For Justin Courtney onto the pen. And Justin Courtney on. Courtney lately has been really, really good. It sure did. Justin is now a closer in the minor leagues, pitching for the Brooklyn Cyclones. Before that, he was out in California, playing in the Los Angeles Angels farm system. When the game is the craziest, usually is when I get called in to try to save it for us or to you know get us out of a big jam. It's such a cool feeling to to be able to throw the ball right by somebody and you know just to be in control of the game. Justin has started working with pitching coach and former Red Sox player Tom House. House has been called the father of modern pitching mechanics and has worked with names like Tom Brady, Drew Brees, and Nolan Ryan. His resume is pretty impressive in itself but uh, connected with him after college and uh, did some training out in San Diego with him and started throwing a little bit harder. That connection led to an unexpected phone call last year. A production company was looking for someone to portray a young Nolan Ryan in a new documentary about the all-star pitcher. House gave them Justin's name and number. When I first got the call from the production company, I, I, I didn't really know what to expect. A few weeks later, Justin would be headed to Austin, Texas. We shot the movie from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m and I'm out on the mound throwing pitches at 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, you know, just to try to get the right shot. There was just the one narrow path that you could throw the pitch to, and all the things were off until they, like, just turned all the lights on in your face, and it was just like, oh, all right, we're here now. Like, it was just incredible. And It's, uh, it's happening. Yeah, it's happening. So it was a lot of fun, though, like just to see how much detail really goes on behind the scenes of making a movie. And, you know, I was blown away by it. Yeah. Were your teammates excited for you? What was their reaction? Yeah. Once I told my teammates about this, they were like blown away because what it, when they first saw it, it was the trailer had just come out 
and you can see me like looking over the glove and you can tell it's clear as day that I'm throwing this pitch and they were so fired up. That excitement and support can be traced all the way back to Justin's hometown, where his former coaches are still cheering him on from the sidelines. I've seen him and talked to him when they are winning championships and doing a pig pile on, uh, on the middle of the field. He just worked at it harder probably than most players, you know. He, he kind of knew he wanted to play ball, and you could see the sky was going to be the limit for him. He's a go-getter. I mean, look where he's at in, in this whole situation. I mean, boy, that doesn't happen just to anybody, you know. So he's a great example for a lot of our young kids in Bangor, particularly just, you know, don't ever give up. I think this was like his first Legion year. Carl Farnham, Christian, Dylan, Curtis, Hunter, because it's Seth Freudenberger, Brian Rulo. It's safe to say the loudest cheers will be coming from the house Justin grew up in. All eyes are on the major leagues, but in the meantime, mom and dad are just happy to have him back on the East Coast. Yeah, he's got a good support staff for sure around here. There's a lot of people that ask about him and are cheering for him. And, and again, I think it goes back to like Maine in general. Mainers take care of Mainers and generally want to see people do well. Justin with a 22% strikeout rate, walk rate at 11%. Our neighbors, you know, we've been here for 19 years, so they saw Justin grow up, and so they're all just our fellow folks across the street. I'm watching. He's going online when Justin's out there, so there's a lot of people watching. Everybody is excited. We're all excited. Yep. We're happy for him. As you can imagine, his parents are very <laughs> proud. They say in addition to his time out on the field, he's an outstanding big brother, a great student, excuse me, student. Justin has his eyes locked on the future, which could include meeting Nolan Ryan himself. Pretty cool. You know, I grew up in the Nolan Ryan era and he was just so dominant yeah. and just so feared. Uh, Seven career no-hitters. Number two on that list is Sandy Koufax, the great Sandy Koufax, who has four. Sandy Koufax used to live in Holden, by the way. Um, but anyway, to be able to portray Nolan Ryan, what a thrill. Yeah, It's awesome. If you would like to see Justin's big screen debut, Facing Nolan is being played in select theaters. It will be available on digital July 19th. And if you want to see Justin in action in a Brooklyn Cyclones uniform, they've got a few away games this weekend against Hudson Valley.